Yesterday, after showing you how to do the snowman on this cake topper, I've been asked several times how I did the Christmas tree. So I thought it best to put another little video together and show you how I did that too. I'll just pop that up there out of the way. I've got some modelling paste here, which is sugar paste or fondant mixed with CMC powder. That's Tylo Pure or Tylo's powder, or you can use gum paste ready-made as well for this. Now I've rolled this ball into a cone shape and at the bottom, finger and thumb, just pinch out the edges a little flatter, like so, like how we did for the hat, just to get that basic cone shape. Take a paintbrush, this is purely to hold it together, stick it in the bottom and that's you ready to work. I use scissors that are bent, curled at the end. Um, these are like nail scissors because it gives me a good angle to snip at the paste. And all you do is take your scissors, start at the top and little snips all the way around in between. And as you snip, the paste will stick out on its own. Just catch it with the end of your scissors and snip like so. It's quite time consuming. I hope you can see what I'm doing quite clearly. All the way around, keep turning it. It's best to hold it in an upright position. Obviously I'm holding it this way to let you see best what I'm doing. But when you're doing it yourself, if you hold it upright, you'll get a much better angle to cut. Just keep going all the way around. This looks like it's going to be a wee dumpy Christmas tree, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's your tree at the end of the day. Whichever size you want it to be, that's what it'll be. I didn't decorate this other one very much yesterday, but you can stick little silver or gold or coloured balls into it. You know, the draggy type thing um, or you can pipe over it with royal icing or just simply shake some um, icing sugar over it for a snow effect. All these effects make a nice, a different Christmas tree. Or put a wee star on the top and paint it gold, whatever takes your fancy. And basically that is it, that's all you have to do. Carefully lift it off, put it into position and if it needs to have any other little tweaks just use a paintbrush or your finger and pull the points out but that really is all there is to it and then you can add it to your design it is a smaller dumpier tree but at least it shows you how I do it